ready to go to Charlotte.
Hello. Welcome to the Spring Hall Suites by Marriott in Fort Mill, South Carolina. This is our room for the last couple of days. It's a little suite, brand new hotel. Very spacious, very nice, very functional. Very clean. So some of you may be wondering what it's like to stay in a hotel during this crazy, weird COVID time. There are some rules that are different. Things are a little bit changed. We're staying in a Marriott property right now. They do require a mask inside of the property. I think most of the large hotel chains do require that as well. Some of the other things that are a little bit different, they have shut down a lot of the common areas, the pools, uh, buffet breakfasts. Uh, we, were, we were given a grab and go option for breakfast this morning out of a bag rather than the normal buffet that you would have in a hotel like this. The pool is closed, um, the workout area is closed. They're just trying to make it, I think, uh, limit areas for people where they're, where they're in groups and gather. Um, housekeeping is a little different. They do not clean the room while you're here. They will come in and bring you towels if you want them and ask for them. But uh, they're trying to, I think, just limit contact and exposure, and, and I appreciate that. I really do. So all in all, it's a little bit different, but it's still the same in many ways. We're jeeping it this weekend in South Carolina, given the option of a Chevy Blazer, a Kia SUV, or a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I chose the Jeep. Uh, I'm not really a Jeep guy, unlike my, some of my friends, but uh, it's been a functional vehicle. It's a little rough, not a lot of uh, tremendous amenities, but um, all in all, it's been kind of a fun drive for 48 hours. may be wondering why is Clint in the Charlotte area? I haven't said that yet. Although Mrs. Carnes and I had a raging debate about whether I did or I didn't. I'm going to assume that she is right and I am wrong. So we came to the Charlotte area. We're actually standing in just outside of Fort Mill, South Carolina right now by the Catawba River to see number one son, Andrew, and Raquel. Say hi, welcome to the vlog. Hey, welcome to the hi, vlog. Hi, welcome to the vlog. That's why we're here. Do it. We are enjoying a dinner at the Pump House in Rock Hill, South Carolina. If you're in the Charlotte area, I would strongly encourage you to check this place out. It's just a little farther south, a little bit of a drive. The Catawba River is right behind me. So, we're enjoying our wonderful dinner. Tonight's dinner is sponsored by the Mary Edwards Winery. 
I wish. We're enjoying two little bits of Mary Edwards' hard work, a 2017 Russian River Pinot Noir, as well as the 2018 Sauvignon Blanc. So we have a white and a red, and we are enjoying it. It's really, really good. It's going to pair well with the lamb and the fish dishes that we ordered tonight. So here's to a wonderful dinner. Cheers. If I could be reincarnated, I would want to be reincarnated as a very nice 10 year tawny. <laughs> It smells like raisin pie in a glass, and it is wonderful. And it is a great way to cap off a wonderful night uh, with wonderful people, and it truly is an example of what it's like to live a good life. Cheers. So what do you got? What are you pouring? Are you familiar with the cracker? Cracker? cracker. No, I'm not. So it is a... Uh, I'm not going to tell you I'm the most versed uh, in the world at dessert wines, That's okay. but in my opinion, it's, not, it's, it's the best one. It's the best, best you're going to find. Absolutely. I mean, you got the uh, Austria. Austria. Oh. You we were in Austria about a year ago. Yeah. So it's uh, Baronet, Baronet Schlaes. It's about 60%. Oh, it's C-R-A-C-H. Oh, it's yeah. okay. Okay. So, 60% uh, Welsh Riesling, about 40% Chardonnay. But they're just uh, a beautiful, beautiful one. Oh, no! I'm going to video it. <laughs> I just, I literally just got this in. I had, I used to carry it at a restaurant I ran in Mississippi many years ago. And uh, finally found it again. And uh, it was just super exciting. So you're the first guest that I'm so going to be. It's not an ice wine, it's a dessert wine. It is a late harvest. A late harvest. Yes, so the trinus, yeah. Exactly. You were lifting saying that. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh, nice. He was good. He was one. The prince. The prince is one. Yeah. The prince is one. Not the artist. Yeah. You know, I had a. Uh, about a year and a half, about a year, I guess it was about a year and a half ago, I had the, uh, the pleasure of doing a tasting with uh, uh, Mary Edward's husband, Oh, Cooper Smith. Okay. He was in town, and uh, just a... Very cool story. Great story. Oh, uh, we were there about a year ago. Yeah. I'm grateful for life for several years, they have a dessert wine that's actually... Harvest. That's a half bottle. Do they do a late harvest that long? Yeah, that's, that's probably the uh, winery only, though. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be in the wine club, buy it from the winery. Yeah. We'll pour you a little taste of that, let you, let you take it. But the, uh, I was very sad to hear that. Uh, they sold it? Yeah, this yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. February, uh, I think Valentine's Day this year was their last day as a part of the, uh, the winery. Oh, that is nice. Isn't that delicious? That's very nice. Not too plain, just no, a beautiful, just little right. acidity on the back just end. That's right, got a little apple on it. I like that. That's nice. Yeah. Very good. I love dessert wine. <laughs> I do as well. I'm a, oh, I, I, I love dessert wine. I tell people all the time, I buy dessert wine mostly just to give it away. I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Cheers. Thank you very much. That was lovely. Thank you. Like if you like this video, pew! <laughs>